So we've got an opportunity to have a look at the kids we were. It's one of those cinematic adventure games. You either have people who love it or hate it. It's that kind of Marmite factor. But I think 50% of you would definitely love this. And it's coming out on the 13th of January 2022. So it's not too far if you want to check it out yourself. And you don't want to play the original mobile version of the game. It's published and developed by Gadgex and it's only six hours long but it's one of those that will really kick you in the old feels by the time you get to the end of it. I'm not going to give too much away but it's set in the late 1980s in Japan and you play as a young boy called Minato and you have this secret objective that you're trying to achieve and the story revolves around this trip while you're in Kagami and you have this mission and you basically want to find out what happened to your dad. And again, I'm not going to give too much, but you get given a notebook and there are seven mysteries in it and you go through time and you have to find out basically what happened and you go to different eras and, you know, you originally go to the place where your mum and dad meet and things unfold from there. Now, for the main part, you are just going through and, you know, it's a story narrative. What more can I say? You know, it's an interactive story game. But if you do want to extend how long you're going to be playing this, then there are collectibles throughout the game. There's 90 retro items that are just scattered around this 1980s town. And if you've got access to Steam, you also get an additional bonus epilogue episode. Now, because the game is so short, I can't really do too much of a review, but I can describe it for you. And I'm telling you, it has this really gorgeous voxel aesthetic to it. It's like someone's taken one of those old school classic Nintendo RPGs and shoved it into the world of voxels, except really kind of expanded on that story, put in some haunting music and given it a masterful narrative. So I will say this, if you enjoy story driven indie games or just indie games in general, then this is going to be right up your alley. However, if you're looking for something a little bit more octane, then this probably isn't the game for you. The only negative experience I had with it, and this is probably my problem with it, is the fact that you need some patience to play with this. There's a lot of reading, there's a lot of visuality to take in, and it is generally overall quite a slow burn in a voxel world. And personally, I had to take some breaks from it because I found it quite, you know, it was a lot to take in for one sitting. So if you do play this, let me know in the comments if you're thinking about playing it. Let me know in the comments. But for now, that's all I'm going to leave you with. Have a great day. Watch out for those onion cutting ninjas. And I will be back with more news, games and reviews soon.